Biostatistics, um, I think, is a, a exciting area. It's it's a, the right time for biostatistics too. Um, first of all, there's there's a shortage of biostatisticians. Um, they're always in in demand. I get tons of recruiter calls every day. So that's one great reason to do biostatistics. A lot of people don't even know what biostatistics is, and I think. Now is the right time. You have the, the mapping of the human genome, which has uncovered all of this data, but we need to make sense of all this data. So, you know, data science, being a data scientist, making these discoveries is, you know, hugely important. And they need the right types of people to do that. So there are people who maybe do bioinformatics and do all these, al you know, fancy algorithms and computing type of work, but you also need a statistician who has that that traditional knowledge of how to make those associations. So, um, so it's very important, I think, to study statistics and have those that foundation to be able to make sense and and bring it and bring that data to the market to make it clinically actionable data. Because people might find, you know, bioinformatics people or programmers might find patterns in the data, but if you can't make clinical sense of it and really bring it to practice, um, it's not all that useful. And so that's what statisticians, biostatisticians do. They take that data, associate with clinical uh, outcomes like cancer death or recurrence of cancer or metastases of cancer or, you know, um, all, all these different clinical applications and make sense of it and bring it to uh, patients.